Sean Sewell and Gimrit.com podcast. It's been almost two months since our last podcast, and there's been a lot of stuff going on uh, in our world and in, personally in my world as well. So in this next episode, I will do my best to catch you up to what the Gimrit teammates have been up to the last two months, what we have upcoming, upcoming certifications at our gym through Strong First and Flexible Steel, uh, Wim Hof as well, and uh, a lot of fun stuff coming in your way. So let's start at the beginning. Last podcast, we were catching you up on the Beacon Bash in Santa Fe, beginning of March. That was a whole lot of fun, raised a lot of money for the Taos Avalanche Rescue Dogs. That was a really, really great time. But since then, we finalized up our OMA Outdoor Market Alliance meetings. Um, we got some videos up on those, and then we were presented opportunities to work with Arcteryx. Arcteryx sent over their beta lightweight the new EPE, and that actually caused a bit of controversy. A lot of people were commenting on the new EPE and the new, uh, you know, DWRs not being as good as previous versions. So that got a lot of people talking online about that. In my experience, I, I have not experienced that. It's in Colorado, we don't get crazy, crazy um, rain, so it uh, works totally fine for me. But it was fun to hear the dialogue between other people out there as well. Oh, and if you're watching this video, welcome to our new Engearment studio. This is our new um, studio. I'd love to give you guys a tour. Basically, um, catch you up real quick. This is a big part of my life. My wife and I recently moved. Uh, we had a home built in Aurora, Colorado, so out by the airport. Uh, it kind of took me by, by surprise how big moving is. I've been in Denver for 20 years, lived in our old place for 15 of those years and it had a nice network a nice little bubble like three mile bubble our gym existence athletics is within two miles of there i can bike to the gym i can walk to the grocery store knew all the neighbors you know i have a very structured awesome life in denver and we're also close to other people close to going downtown um, but we decided to build a house from scratch like this was dirt and mud six months ago uh, now I'm upstairs in this new YouTube studio, looking at airplanes flying away and landing. It is pretty incredible. Um, but it's also 22 miles from the gym. It's 20-some miles from anybody else. Uh, so it's a big kind of lifestyle change. Now I've got to commute. Now I I only commute I had before was driving to the mountains. Uh, so I, I'm embracing podcasts and audiobooks. And heck, I might make a write another book on split boarding or create another course on how to use kettlebells for the mountains or a lot of other opportunities now that I have more time in my hands commuting. Um, long story longer, it also gave me an opportunity to rebuild the studio. So I'm um, using here the Shure SM7B, but just out of sight I have the new Shure M7 Plus, but doing a review on that. Got the Sony ZV-E1, which I found out it does overheat. I've been shooting a bunch of videos today and it lasts about an hour um, and this is the Sony ZV-E10 with a Sigma lens which I know Pat Flynn has a setup right here and it's a, it's a great setup um, so it's been a lot of fun rebuilding the studio and uh, you can see some split boards back in the background there uh, that is a Weston board the Arbor we have reviewed on the board right there is a Venture um, Storm that my buddy Chase made for me and then that is a custom board my buddy Adam made years ago for Colorado Personal Fitness. Um, yeah, the home is awesome. Uh, meeting new neighbors, and uh, we're actually in the minority here, which is pretty unique. I've never encountered that. So now I, I, it's kind of refreshing, to be honest. Uh, I go to Costco, and it's like a whole variety of people. And it's just everybody's very friendly. It's, it's a new life, basically. And it's really... Uh, been exciting been a little hard adjusting I'll be totally honest the first few weeks I was like I want to you know usually I go home on a after five hours of coaching and, and shooting content I go home walk our dog Chloe have a sandwich and head back out now the days are 12 to 14 hour long and there's no going home if you're going home it is to go home <laughs> so there's a little adjustment there but it is all good so that is why I have not had a chance to do the podcast I have not had a place to do the podcast um, but in doing so I've actually created backups to this i have another studio i created downstairs for the fitness content i have a room set up for hosting group podcasts up to four people and then the, at our gym existence i made a podcast room and two youtube studios there so 
going from one to five potential spaces on top of the outdoors. So growth is good, not always easy, but it is very, very good. Um, back to reviews and what we're working on. So we work with Zero Shoes quite a bit. Um, so we have a review up on the Scrambler Mid 2 Waterproof that uses a new eco-friendly event. And then Osprey, really enjoy Osprey backpacks. They sent over their Soladin 42. That has been my go-to backpack. Up until last two months, I have one from Mammut. You'll see a review on that soon. One from BCA, one from Thule. Um, I think two more to get done this season. Uh, we have more stuff from BCA as well. Their new Link radios, the little guys, we'll have a review on those. We'll also have reviews on the Alex communication systems. Uh, Smith sent over a bike helmet, an e-bike helmet at that, to uh, use that system to, to communicate. So we'll see how that works. Um, Ortovox. Ortovox was a big help in our Beacon bashes. They lent us the Beacon Park kit and uh, some other equipment, as well as our new Beacon, which is really user-friendly. Um, our colleague Michael Clemente has a review on the pants and the jacket, the Masola Ski Kit. Pretty awesome stuff, and he's now at Monarch Mountain here in Colorado. Gordini Frontline Gloves. This is really kind of fun. Uh, Gordini is a very approachable glove manufacturer, meaning like price-wise approachable. You get a lot for your money. Our colleague and friend Raphael um, Peace who is a Teton Gravity Research athlete. He's been in movies with Jeremy Jones, traveled the world. He has a series of movies that he has produced. I got to help produce the very first one. Um, he is a world-traveled environmental ninja. He's out there fighting for the environment and great causes. His company, Connections Movement, does a really great job making really fun movies. Uh, they're they're worth checking out. I will, I'm going to ramble because I get so excited about seeing Raphael's work. But he designed these gloves, the Frontline Gloves, to be ultralight, packable, waterproof, useful, splitboarding specific gloves. That's a lot. So that is the Frontline Gloves. Then our friends over at Thermarest. Thermarest, if you didn't know, most of their stuff is made in North America. That's pretty awesome. Uh, the Thermarest Ramble Down Blanket. They sent me over one of these two or three years ago, and it lives in our rooftop tent. Um, so I wanted to show what it's like to use it for two years, and then what it's like to use at home. We use it at our, our house here while we were moving. Roka Barton 2 Sunglasses. Well, it's my first time working with Roka. Uh, these Bartons are pretty nice glasses. They have great hinges. Got a review up on that. Then uh, the Venture Storm Splitboard. That guy right there. Boom. That Venture Storm. Did a review on that for my buddies over at Venture, handmade in Silverton, Colorado. And then Devin Dowd, she has a review on the Arbor Mantra. So there's an Arbor board right there, but she has the female snowboard, the Mantra. It's really, really been treating her well this season. Check that review out. She shot that, I think, at Copper Mountain on the slopes. And there's a little cameo from her husband, Jeremy, in there doing the moonwalk. Funny guy. We were playing joking hazard card game with them this weekend, laughing our butts off. All right, Smart Wool Intranit Thermal Merino Base Layer. Um, this is a very attractive merino wool based base layer. It's got some kind of cool aesthetics to it. You can check that out. Then Viarne, our, our uh, sunglass guru, Clay Farnsley. He's such a good guy and he loves sunglasses. So we got him these Viarne Ice Sunglasses for the Paris. Olympics coming up here in a few months, um, and he does a great job not only reviewing the glasses, but giving some history on Viarne. I learned a lot in this one. I learned a lot from Clay. He's just a great guy. Then uh, Gordini again. This time Devin's reviewing the Radiator Mittens. I've been keeping her warm, and she reviews that on a chairlift. It's got to be one of the more creative angles I've seen for a review. And then we go on to Spark R&D. So on... Which board has the Spark? Oh yeah, on the Venture right there, has the Spark R&D Surge. These will come out next year for the 25 season. I go ahead and show you how those work. Um, and then Hamali, Hamali, really nice high-end gear. Our colleague Derek Toshner has used a lot of Hamali gear. Um, so this is the Hamali Accelerator, and Devin Dow reviews that. Really good stuff. And then I put together something I've been wanting to do for a while. Uh, I always wonder how Gore-Tex works compared to other uh, waterproof breathable membranes. So 
I got a pair of Gore-Tex gloves and I got a pair of gloves with H-Dry. Both are good gloves. One's a REI house brand and then the other one is a Kuyu. If you know Kuyu, that's really high end. It's like the Patagonia of hunting stuff. And then I cut them up, show you how what's inside of them. And it's actually kind of surprising. So that's a pretty fun one. Uh, then Cora, Yak Wool. Uh, we're getting into bike season here. So my last time getting a bike from my house to the gym, I wore the Cora Stratham Touring Jacket. It's like a 300 weight Yak Wool bike jacket. And bike jackets will usually have a longer tail because you're leaning forward. So that was a fun one. And then uh, our badass rider, Jay Irwin, who just, I, you can't keep up with Jay. Just try following him on social media. He's always on top of a mountain, traveling the world, raising money for awareness on uh, kidney transplants. And uh, it's incredible. He donated one of his kidneys to a person who saved his life in an avalanche. He's got a crazy, incredible story. Um, and he eats a lot of food because he does a lot of activities. So Backpacker's Pantry sent him like a year supply of food. And he reviews all the different flavors and shows you where he cooks them. It's, that's a fun, fun video. And then the Peak Design Everyday Backpack 30 liter from Clay. So Clay is a cameraman like myself, only he's actually legit. He actually just did a project with North Face. Uh, so he shows what goes in his Peak Design Everyday 30 liter backpack. Pretty awesome stuff. And um, all right, what else we got? Zero Mesa Trail 2 shoes. So our colleague Ryan Humphreys, who's a fitness fanatic and owns and runs Existence Athletics with our colleague Dan Jimenez, uh, he's all about zero shoes, all about them. He, like, and S Stephen Sashin hit it off, and Ryan's got different size feet. Like, we all have different size feet. His are, like, a size and a half different. So zero sent him over a correct sizing for him. He goes over all the ins and outs of the Mesa Trail 2 shoe. And then, like I mentioned, Dan Jimenez, the next day, does a review in the Big Island Hawaii uh, on the Kona shoe. How fitting is that? Uh, it's just... Those are the two founders of Existence Athletics. They're my good friends, and they're reviewing back-to-back -back days, zero shoes. Check that out. And of course, with Dan's reviews, you get Hawaii in the background, which is just always pleasant. And then back to Coach um, Clay. He's a runner as well. So Gore sent him the Concurve Gore-Tex jacket and Contest 2.0 t-shirt, and he does a really fun review on that. And then I get to do one here uh, on one of the things that kind of made Engearment a channel in the first place. Being a splitboarder, there wasn't a whole lot of splitboard reviews out there. One of the things that the very first reviews we got to do was on splitboard specific boots. Got to kind of set the bar for what splitboard boot review could look like. So I reviewed the 32 Jones MTB boot for this season. Uh, and I got to say, it's the best iteration of that boot yet. It is legit. They did a really good job with it. Um, and I'm really grateful because I was, as I rehabbed my, my feet from the feet surgery I had this year, I was putting on my boots that were three years old, soft boots. I have hard boots as well. Um, but I was trying to ease into it cause my toes don't quite bend yet. And as I was using the 32 MTB boots from a few years ago on my first tour, I was thinking, gosh, I wonder what's up with them. I would love to see what has happened in the last two or three years with the MTBs. And it's been quite a bit. It's the best version of the boot yet. And I would recommend it right now because it's on sale. And then Heli Hansen, the Odin 9 Worlds Jacket 3.0, the newest version. They reached out to see about coverage. They were sending me review a bunch of other stuff from like Patagonia and Arcteryx. I'm like, hey, we're, we're big in Europe. You know, you should check us out. I'm like, okay, send over your good stuff. They did. And there's a review on that Odin 9 Worlds Jacket. And then our colleague, Will Rickards, um, he... He moved down south to Alamosa, Colorado, to be a professor, a teacher, and get kids, especially inner city kids who don't have access to the outdoors, to get them outdoors. So it's been a goal of his to get them outfitted, get those kids outside, and teach them the benefits of outdoor recreation, uh, and help build their confidence, and um, show them that it doesn't have to be inner city toughness all the time. You can go outside, especially here in Colorado, you can go outside and there's beauty all around so him and i have been kind of teaming up to approach companies to not just send one thing for us to review but to send a fleet of things in this case uh ski helmets 
um, and and uh, bike helmets from a company called Outdoor Master. So, of course, we review the the what is it, the Outdoor Master Diamond Ski Helmet, but then they also sent over a bunch of uh, bike helmets. We have bikes being sent over from a different company. There's a lot of good things happening, and Will and I are going to do a series of videos and. Uh, and probably a podcast with different companies about their involvement in our engagement projects to help outfit kids to get outside. Um, just another way we're trying to help out, not just with gear reviews. We're trying to help people get outside. All right. I love Black Diamond. This is a fun one. This is actually my favorite mid-layer currently. It's a Black Diamond Coefficient Storm hoodie. I've been using the heck out of this thing nonstop for the last three months. Got a fun review up on that. And then back to Will, he's got the MSR Freelight 2 tent, which he's had for, I think, two years. But he's taken it up to do some pretty major projects, as the climbers call them. So he's got a lot of insights to share with that. And then Adidas sent over their new Free Hiker 2 um, non-Gore-Tex version. So I was testing that out, got the got that video up. Um, and then True Work. The pants I'm wearing currently and the pants I've been wearing the most often have been True Work. And as I said to True Work, hey, I love your pants, but I need something a little bit more summer more warm weather more something breathable so they got the cloud pant that sent those over so uh really been enjoying those and then back to clay he's uh, the sunglass guru he has some rudy project spin shield air sunglasses and again those are like a running based sunglass and i believe those are photochromic so he does a good job of showing them how to show you how to transitions and then this was a fun one okay so at oma a lot of you were asking about this yakima modular system for the forerunner well, um, my buddy Kevin and I linked up about a month or two ago, and he let me borrow it for a month. Everything, the whole modular system, the home base, the mods, the shelves, the little packing cubes. So I got to go test it up in the mountains and off-roading and stuff, and it's good stuff. It's expensive, but it's good. I got the video up on that. Um, I have one in here that I can't put live from Outdoor Research until I get the embargo, but there's a new version of the Foray that I've been using this year, so stay tuned for that. And then we'll, in the spirit of trying to teach again, put together a micro adventures and bike packing hacks video. It's got a lot of attention, a lot of views, uh, but he puts together a list of what he goes into his bike packing and adventures and how to use it. And has created quite a bit of dialogue with people online, uh, sharing their experiences on how to bike pack as well. So it's, it's a fun teaching video. It's not necessarily a review. It's more of a teaching video we put together. Um, and then the Montane Nordis soft shell. I'm not even sure if that's out yet. Will just has been cranking out videos. Will Rickards. Back to the East Coast. Back to another runner. My friend Andrew Piotrowski uh, was sent from Gore. Again, a running thing. Uh, R5 Gore-Tex Infinium insulated jacket with Polartec Alpha insulation. And uh, Andrew is just tough as heck. Does ultra marathons. And he's a father. And he's a manager. He's, he does it all and does a really good job with that. Then the Outdoor Vitals 40th two-person tent. Will and his son Kai do this, and they shoot this in the UK. So they've had this tent for two seasons now, two years, and a lot of use. Uh, and so this is a detailed how to use, where they used it, and they actually shot this in the UK, uh, where Will is from. So it's a lot of fun. And then Koo, K-O-O, uh, Koo Supernova sunglasses, levels one through three, photochromic lenses these are really fun they're the most minimalist sunglasses i've ever tested just like 20 some grams um, no frame just arms and a lens that changes color and I, I really enjoy them they're really nice for biking and i use them for split boarding they stay on my dash in my truck so i can always use them for for have the windows down in my truck when i'm driving up next, the Hoka Skyward X. This was fun. They sent this before it got released, so I got to do the video on the day it was released. Got to put it up live on April 25th, just six days ago. These are super elevated shoes. Like, they have a huge, huge heel. There's a carbon plate on the bottom of them, um, but they're very comfortable. And if you are into a lot of cushion, this is the most amount of cushion I've tested yet. Skyward X. And then I got to review... A combination of things that I really like. So I'm a big fan of Aerogel. I've talked about it quite a bit on different podcasts. And then uh, we got to review these gloves from a European company, Scotty. Hope I said it right. S-K-A-D-I. And it has the NASA Aerogel insulation. I think it's, the brand name is SolarCore. 
and it's inside of goat leather. I love goat leather. So it's a goat leather NASA insulated glove. Big fans of that. Uh, Devin will have another video on Paca. Speaking of Paca, I just got done shooting, I think, four or five videos for different Paca. I'm wearing a Paca shirt right now. Um, it's alpaca wool. And uh, Devin and I have been kind of going through the whole catalog of their stuff. So we have a lot of videos popping up on Paca. So pretty much the entire lineup will have reviewed by this time next week. Stay tuned for that. Then the Mountain Hardware Core Airshell. I've done the video on this, I think, every year that they release them. It is my favorite wind shell. It's just like four ounces. It stretches. It's Pertex air material. It goes on me everywhere. I always have one in my backpack. I have a hooded and non-hooded because I just use them that much. It is fantastic. Back to Dan Jimenez out in Hawaii. Every time he sends me a video, I just want to live in his video as I watch it because it's so pretty. He's in Hawaii. He does a great job explaining how things work too. The Boat Lowrider Aero Tandem Sup Kayak Hybrid. That's a lot. It's a 27 minute video, but he goes through and explains in detail how everything works. It is awesome. All right, then back to me. I did the Nomadic Luma Camera Sling, the Peter McKinnon collaboration. Uh, it's actually in my backpack, I think, right yeah, right there. Been using it for about three months straight. It's a great 12-liter organizational sling. Uh, I had that inside my Nomadic Everyday Carry backpack. I'm a big fan of Nomadic. We're not sponsored. We're not sponsored by Nomadic. We do have a sponsor that offered to sponsor our Engagement podcast. If you listen this far, this is a big treat. Um, I don't know if I can disclose it yet, but uh, I'll try and tease you. Um, the founders of the Primo blueprint in the primal kitchen have a new company and they sent us that product and ryan and i have been testing it for the last few weeks and i'm a big fan and so they offered to sponsor our podcast how much of a pinch me moment is that the mark sisson and brad kearns have offered to sponsor the engagement podcast because they like what we're doing with the outdoors they like what we're doing with fitness we're having conversations with the i think the world leaders in fitness and the outdoors so, and I personally use Primal Kitchen stuff all the time. You may have Primal Kitchen mayonnaise um, in your, your fridge or ketchup, or maybe you've read the Primal Blueprint. Maybe it's helped you. I know it's helped us. So it's not official yet, but when it does become, I'll figure out how to say, this podcast is sponsored by this company, and um, it's good stuff. Not something to that effect. So just stay tuned for that. But just the fact of the matter that we get to work with Mark Sisson and Brad Kearns is like pinch, like wild. Okay, we're nearing the top. All right, I'm going live. Oh, today, right now, um, at noon, the Deuter Treyak. Hope I said both those right. Deuter Treyak running vest from Devin Dowd. That's a fun video. So we got her a GoPro setup. GoPro sent her a, sent her a camera. And uh, I got her wireless microphone, and she's running and gunning, literally. She's running and shooting the video. It's a lot of fun. Um, and then, uh, let's see. Oh, yeah, Will Records, the Darbello Quantum Free Pro Ski Touring Boot. So, you skiers out there, that's a high-end boot for sure. Um, Mammut Tree Wool Shirt, that'll go live next week. Uh, Mammut, I have a lot of things to work on with Mammut. They reached out in a big way, like, hey... I don't know why we've missed working with you, but like, send you a beacon, backpack, clothing, ropes, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, yes, 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 and yes. Sign us up. In fact, the next part of building out this studio, I have a rack of like backpacks and gear. So like, it'll look like kind of like an REI. In fact, REI reached out to work together. We have two REI backpacks on the rack. Yeah, we'll just turn it into an gearment REI. Yeah, that's a good idea. Okay, a lot, lot of ideas. I, this is my first day home in the new house, and I'm full of coffee and just got a lot of content creation ideas going, as you can tell. Okay, um, events. I teased you at the beginning of events, ways to learn with us at our gym, Existence Athletics, here in Denver, Colorado. We're going to have a, a, a small seminar on foot health from two physical therapists um, in two, on Tuesday the 21st, I think of may and then uh oh my god next weekend we have karen smith teaching the strong first body weight certification at our gym that's one of my favorite certifications um that's gonna be a lot of fun karen smith master instructor awesome person she'll be in our gym here in denver teaching the strong first body weight certification awesome stuff 
Um, and then we get into July. My buddy Matthew Flaherty, who's been on the podcast many, many times, will be teaching Wim Hof Method. And then the next course we'll be teaching is Flexible Steel. Flexible Steel is a series of movement patterns that anybody can do anywhere. I do with every one of my training clients, myself included, every day. So that's a certification to help, you know, we do strength training, but it's also important to be flexible, so Flexible Steel. And then we're going to do an Indian Clubs seminar. So that'll be a lot of fun. Um, And then Brett Jones will be here in September for the Strong First SFG2, <clears throat> losing my voice after half an hour talking, SFG2 um, certification, as well as Iron Cardio Seminar. So I'll be at that for sure. Those are open to the public. You can attend if you want to. I'll put links below if I can remember to do so. Um, I think that gets you caught up, and I hope I didn't take more than half an hour, 25 minutes. Cool. We'll wrap it up. Thank you for listening. Hope you found this helpful. If you get any questions, you can always ping me, sean at engagement.com. Uh, we have a lot of reviews coming up. You should see the list that I'm trying to crank out today. Oh my God. That's like two months worth of work. Helinox, Biolite, Under Embargo, Weston, Nemo, Smartwool, Smith, Yobo, Night Eyes, Thule, Mystery Ranch, Deuter. Yeah, a lot to look forward to. A lot of work on my end. <laughs> okay, Sean Sewell, owner of Dr. Stoke for Engearment.com. Until next time, take care.